Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a uh, quick revisit of a feature that was introduced more than a year ago or about a year ago I believe it was on the April 2018 update that it appeared I'm trying to remember which uh, time if it's the fall update or the April update anyways whatever update it is Windows timeline is a feature that's available for everybody and at the beginning it only worked with Microsoft uh, apps including Microsoft Edge but today I've shown you that there's an official Microsoft add-on for Google Chrome that adds the timeline feature and you might think well you know why should I add that if you have only one PC uh, Windows timeline is still interesting because it's that little icon that you see on the bottom left here looks like a uh, movie reel basically well this is when you go on it says task view well, that's Windows Timeline. That tells you what you've been doing today. So here you see that it shows me some of the latest um, things I've been doing and, and looking at today on the internet. At the top it says earlier today, see all 42 activities. So if you click there, it will actually expand today's um, activities that I've done. Yesterday, 83 activities. You see here at the bottom. And it goes on. And you see on the right side, there is a timeline. You can go back in time every day that you've actually used uh, timeline uh, you use your PC timeline is going to be there and you can go back in time as you see here it goes back all to uh, January 20th in my case so this is kind of the cool thing about timeline you can go back in time if you visited something that you're trying to remember what you did back then uh, basically you will see that it was um, what you were doing at that specific time and so this is going to be interesting of course that also means that you have lots of information that can be synced between devices that means if you are in a device that is um, if you have more than one Windows 10 PC you can actually have all of that synced that means on every Windows 10 PC I have at home my Windows timeline is synced. I can see what I did on other computers. That's very useful because you can go back and click whatever you did on another PC. So Windows timeline is really nice for that. The um, add-on also today that I've talked about, the Microsoft add-on for Google Chrome, uh, and that's the cool thing is it has the Chrome um, browsing to timeline, which was not available before. So, you know, Google Chrome being more than 60% of what people use on Windows it was not as useful maybe yet for a lot of people because Chrome was not registered in there now there's a third-party app that I did talk about that would add Windows timeline feature and if you have that and you're happy with that you can continue using it it still works but the Microsoft web uh, add-on that today is um, web activity add-on adds also the sync capabilities of you know continue where you left off so I think it's worth it to visit this and to check out because you'll see what you did in the past. If you want to go back in time, you say that, oh, uh, yesterday I went to see that website or that thing, but I don't remember what it is. Well, Timeline will tell you. It's going to tell you you've been there. And of course, there are several things you can do in Timeline. If you want to remove some activities, uh, for example, well, you can right click on a tile and say remove it, or you can clear everything from earlier today if you want or if you go on another date you can actually right click and say oh clear all from yesterday or from a specific date if you wish to remove a full day and you can search on the upper right corner there's a search for activities so if I click timeline it will actually bring me only stuff that talks about timeline that I've been searching so you'll see here Microsoft Web Activities add on timeline. There's a video. It even searches within your computer, by the way, not just what's happening with the web. So, uh, timeline, check that out. It's a great, great feature. When you click on a tile, well, of course, it's going to bring you to that article. So, for example, if I go to the timeline feature and I want to go back to that article that I've had um, for um, a specific task well okay here we go I did a search yesterday on some radio services I click and it brings me and opens the web browser exactly to where it was so this is picture search on um, uh, something I did yesterday 
So it's a very cool feature and unfortunately a lot of people don't use it and it uh, is good to learn because and to know that it exists because if you get the habit in using it to find what you were actually searching or what you were doing before and it works not only with the web it works with apps that you have on your PC if you use Microsoft Office you'll know Word documents you worked on you'll know uh, PowerPoint stuff that you worked on actually I have one here if you look here it tells me that uh, okay uh, tech news template PPSX which is my tech news template that I use to have the daily tech news on the channel so it works with other apps as well so timeline feature um, a little known but actually very interesting and very good feature and if you have multiple PCs it's even more interesting because it's available across your PCs as long as you're um, of course in a Microsoft account the same account everywhere if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching